I guess the big why is because I feel called to do it. So 10, 15 years ago, kind of the coaching dynamic changed where you coach because you have passion for kids and you woke up every morning to bed every night just thinking about that. And the economics of it didn't matter as much. I mean, because football grew in popularity at every level, not just the NFL, but in college football, which may be more popular than the NFL, and then even the high school in certain states is massive, um, that it kind of switched to an ambition profession. And when it went to an ambition profession, a lot of kids got kind of left on the sidewalk because it became about the coach and less about the kid. I'm not saying everywhere. There are some, some of the greatest people I know in this country are coaches at all three levels. Um, but I think coaches need to reassess why they do it. That you're born to coach and you need to go do this. Those boys need what us girls have done. And I don't think I'm a great coach. I don't think I'm anything special. I do think that my career experiences and all the things that I've gone through from a son of a high school coach to um, my career at Fresno and going there as a kind of a linebacker and becoming an All-American and being a first round draft choice and feeling miserable in the NFL and picking myself up and having success and then failing and having success and failing and, you know, becoming more of a mentor than I was a player in the back half of my career has given me some unique experiences and, and it was like all my entire life in football that evening um, I had total clarity on the why.